Hello and welcome to Tech Me Out. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Blue Spark digital microphone. It's coined as one of the first condenser microphones and it'll provide you the option to connect via a USB port and also to your mobile Apple device such as your iPhone or iPad to record audio. It features the same studio grade condenser capsules which make it perfect for recording in just about any situation. So that means you can achieve great audio and vocal recordings as well as instrument recordings. I've previously done an unboxing video so to find out what you get in the box in detail you can check that out with the link in the description box. But to briefly go over it again you receive the microphone, the stand, the USB cable, 30 pin connector and the lightning connector. The microphone is great at canceling out background noise such as bumping your desk and even the hum of your computer if the microphone is near it or on the same desk as it. So prior to using the Blue Spark Digital, I was using the Blue Yeti microphone. It's a great microphone. It has lots of options in terms of recording from different directions and everything like that. But the one setback of it that I did not like is that it picked up too much audio. And by that, I mean it picked up cars passing or really any background noise at all. And that's something that is hard for me to eliminate when I'm recording. So the Blue Spark Digital to me gave me a better option in terms of getting great audio quality while reducing background noise as much as possible. So in taking a look at the design, one cannot ignore how great the microphone looks. And by that, I mean just from the capsule on down to the stand, everything looks very high quality, very premium and very durable as well. For the controls that you have of the microphone, you have the volume and gain control in the front. Basically how it works is when you hold down on the button, it will adjust the volume and then when you hold it down again, it will adjust the gain. On the back, you have the focus control feature. This will pretty much let you improve picking up audio of the high frequencies and the mid frequencies when it's on and when it's off, it's going to be more apt to pick up the lower frequencies. Now, like I mentioned, the microphone does come with the cable to connect it to your iPad or your iPhone or even your iPod so that if you're on the go and you want to get high quality recording versus the recording in the microphone, you can use the connector cables to do so. You just pretty much when you're purchasing the product, you choose which one you need in terms of the 30 pin or the lightning connector. So not only will you have a microphone, a high quality microphone for your computer, you'll also have one for your mobile devices when you're out and about and you want to kind of optimize how well you sound or how well the sounds around you are coming through in your recording. Something else that I really liked about the USB cable that came with it is pretty much two cords. Um, one goes into your computer and then the other one um, allows you to connect your headphones so that you can listen to yourself in real time with no delay and how you sound. So you can monitor your audio to go ahead and see how things are coming out. But to just kind of demonstrate how well it is at eliminating that background noise, I'm going to do a few things while I'm recording right now. So to kick things off, I'm going to first start I'm moving the stand here back and forth while I'm speaking. And you can probably hear it picking up different sounds as I'm moving it. So this kind of gives you an idea of how much moving of the stand you can do while you're recording. And there you are. I think that's enough. So another thing you may find yourself doing while using this microphone is adjusting the volume or gain control. So you can hear me kind of hold the button here. I'm going to turn the gain up and you should hear me get a little bit louder as well as the background noises. And if you hear that, that's my dog drinking water. <laughs> And that's the gain all the way up. So if I turn it back down, it kind of starts to reduce those noises out a bit so that it focuses more on my voice versus what's going on in the background around me. And if I hold this button here again, it goes back to the headphones. So you can probably hear me hitting the button. And the next thing I would like to demonstrate is how well it kind of reduces sounds in terms of um, moving the desk. I know oftentimes when I'm recording, I may bump the desk. So I'm kind of just shaking the desk here, sliding my hands about it. Um, kind of drumming my fingers a little bit and you can kind of tell me or hopefully it's not picking this up too much I just know these are random things that I do by accident when I'm recording so hopefully it's not picking too much if any of it at all up and also something to note the whole time while I'm recording right now I am by my window and there are cars going by I can hear them clearly but hopefully the whole time they have not been showing up or coming up rather in the audio recording but that's just a sample of how the audio is in terms of this microphone so for all of you in the market for getting a new microphone that reduces background noise, has a beautiful design and looks great on your desk, then I highly advise the Blue Spark Digital. Coming in at a price point of $199, it can be purchased from Amazon as well as other retailers. A link to Blue Spark's website will be listed in the description box.
box as well as an Amazon link for you to purchase it if you're interested in getting this microphone for yourself. For any additional questions or comments, definitely drop them down below. I don't mind engaging or answering any questions you may have. If you enjoy the video, please be kind and give it a thumbs up. I greatly appreciate that support. Don't forget to subscribe and as always, thanks for taking the time out to let me tech you out.